Well, good afternoon and good morning, uh, wherever you may be. Thank you all for uh, joining us today to learn more about Starship Cloud. Uh, again, I'm Jake Schakowsky. I'm the Dynamics Account Executive here at V Technologies. Uh, so all of you have probably heard by now that Ship Gear is going to be sunset um, at the end of 2023. And so, you know, we, we appreciate all your Ship Gear business over the years. But we're excited to, to show you some more information and show you our Starship Cloud and how it can really enhance your shipping operation. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is take you through a quick presentation and then jump into a demo um, of an international order. So something different here to show you the functionality of Starship and how it can, you know, tie in all the pieces of your um, shipping operation to one place. You know, so over the many conversations that we've had with customers, we start to see a lot of the shipping challenges come up that may cause some headaches in your shipping operations. So we're going to walk through a few here, um, the, the, the challenges that you could be experiencing today. So a lot of you probably right now have a semi integration with world ship or ship manager and GP, you know, but a lot of customers uh, are shipping LTL and have to go to six or seven different websites to get a quote or set up an order, um, which can be very time consuming and very manual. Um, so Starship can really help consolidate that LTL and parcel piece of it into one singular location for you. So you're not having to take that time to jump over to many different portals to really um, find that quote or process that order. Um, having to manually update GP with your carriers, that can be um, that with the carriers that might not be integrated with ship gear, you can really just have that right now with UPS. Uh, a lot of times not really with FedEx. So a lot of times we see customers, you know, having to manually update their FedEx orders inside of GP um, instead of having that integration. Starship will allow you to bring all those carriers into one place and, manually, and uh, automatically update GP for you once you ship and process that order. So it takes away that manual time consuming uh, information entry for you. Um, you know, a lot of times people will say shipping costs are too high. I'm sure shipping costs are discussed daily in your organization. So um, Starship is gonna give you the ability to rate shop inside of Starship. I'm gonna walk through that as we get into the demo portion later, but that's where you can have the ability to be flexible with your shipping costs and be flexible with your transit times and your um, services and carriers. Um, choosing the best rate or the fastest transit time with your carriers. Starship can give you that ability to automatically do that for you or give you the ability to really dive in and check that yourself to see, you know, where can I save some money on certain lanes or certain orders or with certain customers. So it really just gives you that ability to be more uh, flexible across the board there. So before I get into all the information about Starship Cloud, I wanted to give you a quick uh, just overview about VTech and the origin of Starship. So Starship was... Uh, basically born in 1989, uh, where it basically became our flagship product since its, our, since its creation. Um, we've been integrated with the, the Dynamics GP for about 20 plus years with our um, plug and play solution. So we also have support for Dynamics 365 Business Central for anyone who is potentially thinking about going to um, Business Central in the future. So if you're kind of in the space right now where you're thinking about getting a solution for GP, but have plans for 365 in the future, we have a kind of a pathway and a roadmap that we can work with you through that. So you can utilize Starship now as well in the future of your different ERP plans that you have. And also a fun fact about VTech is we were also named the UPS Ready Premier Partner in 2022. So we have a great standing relationship with UPS and we're very proud of that uh, moving forward here. So excited to you know, have a discussion with you all about you know, how we can integrate with you and work with you further. So we're talking about Starship, it's really a multi-carrier strategy. So that can provide a lot of value for you. So what does that look like? Um, we give the ability to rate shop between all your carriers and service. Um, that can be done in multiple ways by clicking the rate shop button inside of Starship, or we have the ability to give you the what we call best rates rules or best rate scenarios. Uh, we can set up rules for you where you can identify certain shipping lanes to have Starship pick the quickest transit or cheapest carrier for you, making it more efficient um, and less time consuming when picking a carrier for your team. So it can be already set and nice and neat for you and your team to ship and process your orders. You also have the access to get all of your parcel labels and LTL BOLs in one application instead of having to go take the time to go bounce around from different carriers, um, different portals to get quotes or rate shop, and then having to kind of determine those different quotes. All that can be done with inside of Starship for you. And then of course, having all your metrics at your disposal is a great tool to have when you're renegotiating rates with carriers. 
Um, you'll see all the different lanes that you're shipping. You know, some some areas you're shipping more uh, frequently to. You can have all your weights and dims. So it just gives you the ability to kind of utilize those different metrics and tools that you have inside of Starship to have the most firepower to go to bat with your carriers when negotiating your different rates in different lanes that you have um, with the carrier agreements um, moving forward. And then of course your processing efficiency and getting rid of all the portals that you're using as we've mentioned having that single one shipping solution across your company and having the ability to get all that information in real time back into gp can improve a lot of time and efficiencies moving forward for you and your team so when designing the application we give you a whole ui that will walk that i'll walk you through here soon but throughout this is very customizable for you and your team. So what you see today in the demo might look differently from what your you know, Starship home screen will look like. So we want it to be very user friendly, very easy for you and your team to kind of ship and process your orders all day. We don't want it to be you know, very confusing. It's very easy, very user friendly as you'll see as we get into the demo and as we walk you through onboarding and configuration, you'll better see how simple it is to ship an order, how simple it is to really utilize the value of Starship. We also leverage line item detail, which ship gear does not do that today. So what we do is we bring in all of the items from GP so you can pack them accordingly. We also store key data that is important for shipping international um, orders for BOL creation and utilizing hazmat profiles for any dangerous goods shipping that you're doing today. All that can be done with inside of Starship through our line item detail. If you're doing any drop shipping out there, um, we can simplify that with different sender IDs to show different shipping addresses. Um, that can be an automated process with inside of Starship, so you're not having to manually enter in different addresses every single time. It just gives you the ability to kind of take that manual piece out of it, which can eliminate some human error as well. Also being able to consolidate your orders into one shipment um, can give you the benefit through Starship to, you know, find orders going to like locations and give you the ability to ship all those orders at once instead of having to ship them one by one each and every single time. So why look at a cloud solution over an on-prem solution? Um, so Starship's always going to have uh, the latest updates. So you're gonna be running on the latest version of Starship. There's no waiting for upgrades. There's not having to download different upgrades. Um, we upgrade Starship quarterly. So you'll wake up one morning, everything will be updated to the latest version. So you're not having to worry about that. You also have access to unlimited users and all of our parcel and carrier, uh, LTL carrier integrations. So we provide those to you at no additional cost. Whereas if you move to an on-prem solution, you'd be kind of purchasing those, those different carrier modules a la carte. Um, for shippers that have spikes in different times of the year, cloud gives you the ability to adjust your pricing as the year goes on um, to cover you for those busy times. So you have the ability to jump up to the next tier of um, volume um, for those specific busy years. And then of course, after those uh, busy months are done, you can jump back down to the tier you were on before. And finally, you have the ability to give each user different permissions based on what you want them to have access to. Um, for example, you can give your shipper just the access to ship and check some reporting. But then you can also give you know, your, your admin, give them access to pricing inside of the subscription portal, as well as checking reporting for if you want to give um, anyone, your CFO, different reporting capabilities. So in case they don't jump in there and accidentally ship an order that's not ready to go, they can just see that reporting piece of it. So it kind of gives you the control and ability to, you know, really just use Starship across your whole company. Right here is just a quick glance at all the parcel and LTL carriers that we have integrations with. We have about 25 uh, carrier integrations. We also have a th few 3PLs in the mix. Um, and of course, we, you know, we are launching a, a Unishippers integration here in the future. So if you are working with Unishippers, that is gonna be coming down the pipeline. And if you don't see a carrier on here that you're using, that doesn't mean we're not able to work with you. We just have a few workarounds or a few different pieces inside of Starship that we can utilize to make sure that you're you're getting the best value out of Starship. So it's what we call our BOL module, where you'll be able to print that BOL for you um, and still be able to track all of your orders inside of Starship. Here's a quick view of what the reporting looks like in Starship. So we give you the ability to kind of customize and create the report screen the way you want it to be. So you can have different graphs, different bar graphs or or pie graphs or charts, however you want to look at it, you have that ability to do so. But kind of the main piece, one that a lot of our customers like to see is this heat map. 
So it shows all the distribution points going across the United States here, just giving you the idea of where we're shipping to more. This goes back to all the metrics and all the pieces of, you know, taking this to your carriers when negotiation time comes. But then it also gives you the ability to kind of see areas we're not shipping into. And that can help create strategic initiatives around how can we tap that market? How can we get into that specific market? What do we need to do to ship more to that area? So it just kind of gives you a whole overview of what your reporting looks like. And I'll kind of show you more of that as we get um, into the demo in a few, few minutes here. And then of course, we're gonna talk about some risks not moving to, uh, risks of remaining on ship, you're not moving to the cloud. So um, from here on out, ShipGear, there's gonna be no more bug fixes or enhancements. Um, you know, the, the last version of ShipGear was published and released already. So kind of what you have now is the, the last version of it's gonna be. And um, you're also paying the higher fees as we did a price increase back in October for the limited integration where, you know, Starship's a very reasonably priced uh, solution where you can get more value, more functionality, more automation moving forward. And we're also running some promotional pricing right now that may not be available the second half of the year. So we want you to be able to take advantage of that um, as they're available. So I know that was a lot of information here and we've got about 15 minutes left. So now I'm gonna jump into the demo here and show you a quick um, international order, just do something different here and give you kind of an idea of what that would look like inside of Starship. Okay. So what you're seeing here is basically the home screen of Starship. This is where all of your orders will be that are ready to be shipped out and processed. Um, so up here at the top, just like ship gear, you can key in different or the different orders up here. So you can type in the order number if you'd like up here. You can also scan in the different barcodes if you're using scanners in your warehouse to have the order scanned to come to the top here as well. Or down here, you can hit the truck icon and that will bring in the single screen view order of the order you're ready to ship and process. Um, up here, you're gonna see that you have the ability to add any kind of filters you want to. So another cool um, piece of Starship that ship gear does not have is, is batch processing. So you see I'm shipping off batch SOP orders. You have the ability to filter off and ship off different batch IDs for any kind of orders that you're shipping out. You can also customize this, like I said earlier, to show any amount of data that you want here. So any of this header level information up here you can remove that or add as much as you'd like to show your team what they need to see for these specific orders um, that are shipping out that day or that week or whatever the case may be. Now I'm going to jump into the specific order we're shipping here. So what you're going to see here is basically the single screen view of all the information related to that specific order. So just kind of across the top here, up here you've got your source. This is basically just a check and balance of the specific order that you're shipping. Um, you've got your applied charges here. I'll get into that as we get further along in the demo. Give your sender, this is where it's coming from, so your location or be your drop location if you're doing uh, drop shipping today. You have your recipient here. This is essentially where is it going to. Uh, one thing I will note about international shipments, our address verification does not work for international shipping. That only comes with domestic shipping. So that's why it's grayed out here with the little question mark there. Now, if this was a domestic order, it show either a red check, a uh, red X or a green check mark saying, hey, this order isn't verified or hey, this order is, ver uh, address is verified before you ship and process. Next, you have your transportation here. This is basically just the carrier you chose uh, to ship the order with. Um, if you change the carrier or service here inside of Starship, we also have reverse translation. So that will write back into GP with the correct information once you ship and process the order. Um, you can break it down here between which, uh, whether the shipper pays the transportation or the duties and taxes, you have the ability to kind of have all that information placed here with all of your broker information, your importer information, everything you need for specific, you know, international shipments and make sure that everything's perfectly set up for there's no issues at the border, whatever the case may be, all that information will be placed here for you. And then if any of you are filing for ITN numbers um, through the ACE Direct website, Starship has a plug into that specific website. So instead of having to jump to that ACE Direct, um, into that ACE Direct website, Starship will pull all the information from Starship uh, into the ACE Direct website, file for the ITN number for you, and then send it to your email for you to place it in there when you're ready to ship and process the order. Um, you've got your reason for export. So everything you need for specific international shipping and the transportation piece of it is placed here in this transportation piece. Next, you've got your shipment details. This is any kind of, you know, accessorials or any piece that you want to add to your orders. 
Um, we can have any of these boxes kind of configured to be auto checked off for you. You see we've got UPS paperless invoice checked off here. So you've got your paperless documents sending to UPS when you ship and process the orders. I know that's a big one for a lot of our customers here. We also have the ability to kind of check off any box here. So if you have insurance that you want to add to all of your orders, we can create a rule for you. So Starship can determine any order over $500. I want this insurance box auto checked off. So my team's not having to go in there and double check that. And it's already be auto checked and auto boxed off for them. Next, you got your packaging. This is all the packaging and items that have come over from um, GP that have been placed in the packages for you. Um, so you see up here, we've got the ability to attach to any parcel scales that you're using in your warehouse to make sure you get that actual weight here. Um, we also give you billable weights so you can kind of you know, see what you're going to be built off of, which is based off of the dimensional weights. As you see, we have dimensions here. Um, any kind of packaging or cases that you're using with inside of your warehouse today, Starship has a packaging database. Um, so you can have that all that information of those packages auto placed into Starship for you. So it can really take away the piece of, you know, manually entering package details, manually entering weights. We want to make that more efficient for you and more automated for you throughout the whole process of shipping. If you need to, you can also add boxes up here and add, you know, break up your orders for the specific order by dragging and drop a product here. So now I'll be shipping two boxes um, for this order instead of just one. Now, as we jump into the line items here, this is where the line item integration comes into play. Um, so you're gonna kind of see off the bat here, this is where we'll house your scheduled B codes and your HCS codes for your international shipments of the products. Um, so all of that will be placed here for you. So you want to enter that information in every single time. Starship will remember those codes for the specific items that you're shipping internationally. And then when you dive into each item here, it kind of breaks out that much more of the specific item you're shipping. So you see we've got class information here, NMFC information here. This is where the hazardous profiles will be checked off before shipping hazard hazmat items. Um, you've got your unit values here. And then there's also an international tab here. This gives you the country of manufacturing and then of course your scheduled B codes as well again and all the information needed for international shipping of that specific item will be then placed here as well so when you're new you're shipping that order you know all the necessary information will be there for you so you're not having to go in there and check you're not having to make sure all that information is there for you Starship will take that piece for you. next down here you've got your total charges um, we can show list rates, your contracted rates, and applied rates, but we're currently just hiding the list rates now. So what you see here is will be your contracted rate with UPS or your FedEx account information. But then you also see applied charges here. This is any kind of what we call freight rule that you want to add to your operation where you can get a, you add markups, you can add handling fees, um, free shipping. You have the ability to kind of create as many as you'd like across the board, or you can narrow them down. Um, per customer. So for example, right now we've got a, just a basic 25% off markup across the board, but then also a handling fee that's dialed in per customer. So Starship recognizes a specific customer that needs to add a handling fee because it might take a little bit more time to package that item, package that order. Um, we want to make sure you know we're, we're covered for that as well. So say you're looking at this um, this rate here and you're thinking, I want to check all of my carriers and services and make sure you know I'm getting the best rate you'll come down here and hit shop all, and that's gonna begin pinging all the APIs and all the carriers and services that you have to bring back those rates. So this is where you have the ability to do the rate shopping and you know make sure you're getting the best rate for all of your orders. Um, you can request, you can do a required delivery date here. So if you have a certain time you need this order to be there by, you can put it here and that will filter all of the carriers to show the quickest delivery they have. Uh, but looking right through here through all of our you know carriers and service looks like we are getting the best right here so I might as well keep with ups but look it gives you all the carriers and services you have we'll even throw ltl in here as well um because starship's smart enough to kind of recognize those orders that are might be large enough to be on the cusp to go ltl and kind of make that decision for you whether okay maybe i will use rnl for this this case or just stick with ups this is where you have that flexibility to you know reduce your freight spend if if needed, or we can have these carriers set up to automatically be um, set to the carrier chosen um, before you ship and process. So now that you're ready to ship and process the order, all you're gonna do is hit ship and process or F3 in the keyboard, and that's gonna begin printing all the documentation that you have um, from commercial invoices 
or a BOLs, whatever the case may be. I have a few examples here. Um, so basically what you have here is all the documentation that can be printed out with Starship. So you have your commercial invoices, your certificate of origin, everything that you need for all the information um, for international shipping can be printed through Starship. So you won't have to worry about that. And of course, we do have access to the paperless documents as well. Now I will jump into GP. Um, so now what you have here is basically the write back of what happens once you ship and process the order. Um, so we write back into the notes section here. So as you see, once we broke up those two orders into two boxes, it's gonna give us two tracking links for those specific boxes. Um, it's got the carrier was shipped with, um, estimated delivery time, all the information that you wanna see is automatically written back into GP. So there's no manually entry of the all the information from the specific orders. And along with the notes section, we also write back in some user-defined fields here with tracking numbers, uh, with the master tracking number, another confirmation that it was shipped, your contracted rate here. So we write back your contracted rate to this section, but we also write back the um, applied rate here. That's any rate with the markups or handling fees attached to it will be written back into that section. And then we also write back to the batch ID. So change from SOP orders to shipped. I'm um, just giving you confirmation that it was shipped. So um, that right there is pretty much the, you know, standard international order through Starship inside of GP. So I'm going to jump back in Starship and give you a quick look at our e-notify tool as well as the, the reports. So now we're back in Starship here. I'm going to jump into the dashboarding uh, function here. So this is, as we showed earlier, just kind of a brief look at, you know, what different graphs and heat maps you have. So this is another view of the screen that you have where you can, can kind of configure and make it look the way you want to. So here's another heat map as you as you see here, kind of a less heat map with distribution points that are not shown as the other screen. Um, so this can kind of give you an idea of, okay, so we're not shipping in the south, maybe I need to, you know, have some more initiative to go in south there, but this just gives you the ability to kind of see all the bits and pieces of your specific operation. We also have the e-notify tool here. This is customized branded emails through Starship. So uh, whenever you ship and process orders, these emails will be sent out to your customers saying, hey, your order's on the way. Here's the tracking link information. You can customize these emails any way you want to, giving you the ability to kind of make sure it's correct the way your customers want to see it with all the information needed for those specific tracking links. So your customers will get these from Starship, uh, from your email coming out of Starship. Um, you have the ability to kind of customize them per customer, or you can have a generic email across the board. Okay. 